representing Anambra Central, my brother, Senator Victor Ume, the distinguished senator representing Anambra North, my brother, Senator Tony Woye, I cannot fail to mention my senator, Senator Osita Nku, and of course, Senator Enya Baribe of the All Progressives Grand Alliance. I would like to start today by giving a brief introduction of myself. I am the sixth child in a family of eight. My father, the late Chief Christian Ono, and my mother, Mrs. Carol Ono, who was a college principal. I was a devoted daughter to both, and a humble wife of the late I'm a lawyer by training, and I grew up in a, a rural village called Ngwo. I was born in Enugu. It was, I would say, one of the best experiences of my life, because, of course, when you live in the village, it affords you a wonderful opportunity to really get close to the earth and to understand the values that really matter in any society. My elementary school was at Ekulu Primary School, uh, and then I went to the Queen's High School, after which I uh, transited to um, Aquat School in Pontefract, West Yorkshire, in the United Kingdom. And from there, I went to the Cambridge Tutorial College, St. Andrew's College for my advanced levels, the University of Buckingham, where I commenced a degree, combined honors in politics, economics, and law, and then subsequently transferred to the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, where I obtained my law degree and the law school. I'm a lawyer by training. And of course, I am a mother of three wonderful children. In public service, I served as the senior special assistant to the president on diaspora matters, after which I served as Nigeria's ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, and Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations World Tourism Organization. These platforms offered me an invaluable opportunity to engage in effective diplomatic arrangements to really get a sense of what it means to interface between uh, your government and the, your host country, host communities. And of course, as ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, I was able to do that most uh, effectively uh, by presenting strategic platforms for engagement between Spain 
and Nigeria. And I am honored to say that in the course of my service, I was honored with the award of Africa's most outstanding uh, ambassador, which was a vote conducted by the prestigious uh, Dutch magazine called The Voice. And of course, uh, El Mondo Diplomatico, which is a platform uh, in Spain that trails the activities of ambassadors serving in that country, gave me uh, a merit award for my service. At the same time, within the UNWTO, which is the premier body charged with regulating tourism and tourism-related activities, I performed creditably well. After this, uh, to cut this uh, quite short, I have also engaged in other public service. I was the secretary of the Truth, Justice, and Peace Commission in Anambra State, uh, set up a commission of inquiry set up to look into and unravel the root causes of insecurity in southeastern Nigeria. And uh, I am also a member of the governing council of Chukwemeka Odmebojuku University, as well as Christian Chukuma Ono College of Education. It is my honor to stand before you all today and to assure you that I am here. I am here because I believe that there is hope for this country. I am here because I believe that if we are all able to come together sincerely and commit to serving this nation with the focus on ensuring that we have peace, that the sky is the limit for this country. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh very rich uh, resume. He has uh, the nominee is ready to take a few uh, questions. But let me start. Uh, no, let me start with comments. Well, uh, let me go to the state of Anambra. Uh, unfortunately, may so rest in peace. She comes from the senatorial district of our late brother. Uh, Senator Ifayoba, who is not here, and, and the closest person, uh, the two closest senators outside Ifayoba, who have to say something about the nominee. So it's from whom that we know you. The civil senator, Victor Ome. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. My name is um, Senator Victor Ume, OFR. I represent Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, when I was coming to work this morning, I assured myself that I would not be over overwhelmed by emotion when Her Excellency steps into this chamber. And um, we have all listened to her. Nobody can fault her qualification to serve this country in any capacity. Um, she is very intelligent, very, very charismatic, and very beautiful. <laughs> you can see, I asked her to turn uh, down her beauty when she comes to today. Please uh, restrict, restrict your comments to her resume. Her resume. 
it is there. It is there. Because, 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 you, you know why I'm saying that? It was. It is there. Most Senator Ome. Senator Ome. In Nigeria. Senator Ome. Eh? Senator Ome. Restrict yourself to her resume. All okay. right. We'll go. Okay. We'll thank go you. Into, thank you. We'll go into social media. Thank, and thank Google, you. Thank you. I will ask a question. Who touched my Bianca? <laughs> Mr. President, you know too much. But let me say that um, you will expect this kind of thanking from me. Because um, Her Excellency uh, Ambassador Bianco Domego Juku, her nomination is very significant and also very historic. If you listen to her concluding remarks, you will see that she's somebody who has a passion for peace and well-being of this country, and for inclusivity in all the things we do in Nigeria. I have the privilege of serving as the national chairman of ABGA for six years. I served for 10 years, but for six years, the husband, Dim Chukwemeko Nwujuku, was the leader of the party, and I was the national chairman. I worked very closely with our iconic leader, and with Ambassador Bianca Mebujuku, who was always around and involved in all the things we do. I want to say that Ambassador Bianca Mebujuku possesses the intellect and the ability to work for Nigeria in the ministry she has been given to oversee, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. She has the experience as an ambassador. But I say that her nomination is significant because of her husband, who we very much revered. And there's nobody in this chamber who will not know the importance of that name, and for her to step into this chamber to be confirmed, screened and confirmed as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is indicative of the fact that we are trying to put the past behind us in this country. Apart from her personal attributes and qualities, she carries us with her a burden bearing that name because her husband was our all and all. Uh, Ambassador Bianca Olmego Juku, in this mission, we are with you. I support you. You know I will always support you because um, we had so much in common with the app that we built and developed. Even in this chamber, I'm called uh, Kokoronko. And I want everybody who support. I know Countryman will support. I know that. So what I'm saying is that with her, Joining the federal cabinet, Mr. President, we are looking forward to opening more doors to reconciliation and many other things to come. I knew the wishes of her late husband because he was my leader. I worked very closely with him. There were things, if he were to be alive, he would continue to ask for. I don't want to say uh, so much so that... Um, we we'll confine it to her screening. Those things the husband stood for, she also stands for them. We have worked together, we have shared struggles together. So now that you are in the federal cabinet, my beloved sister, I wish you well. I know that my brothers will speak and this Senate will support you. But when you go, remember that you have so much people looking up to you. All those things our dear brother stood for, continue to converse for them. Continue to converse for equality of rights. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Yes. This is Senator Tony Way. Thank you. My name is Senator Tony Moe, representing the group of Anambra North Electoral District. Actually, my big brother 
I'll say it all, but I need to add a few things. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, this is one of our best. Incidentally, we were never in the same party together. She was of Abga. I was never of Abga. But this Halu Shamba should transcend above party affiliations. I must commend and thank Mr. President Ahmed Bola Tenibu for recognizing this woman for this appointment. Irrespective of party affiliation, it's not because of only the fact that she was with our late sage, our undisputable leader, when she was, he was alive, took care of him when he was alive. It's because this woman is an epitome of excellence. She's very cerebral, she's very articulate, very eloquent, very, very anything you can think of. Abulent lawmaker, uh, abulent uh, lawyer, and arbitrator for that matter. A product of the University of Nigeria. A great lioness. A woman who is a bridge builder. I must say that my people, good people of Anambranov, are commending Mr. President once more. And also, we are appealing the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria not to waste so much time. She is prepared for questions to answer. She has been a special assistant to Mr. President. We have read the CV. A big builder that doesn't know about tribe, that doesn't know party A, party B. I feel strongly that even as an ambassador, when she was an ambassador, she was screened on 11th of May 2012. In absence, that was when she was mourning the husband. She was not even there at the committee stage. But because of her resume and her record, the then Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs screened her, and the Senate of Federal Republic unanimously approved. I'm appealing to our distinguished colleagues, led by our great law, let them not find any hesitation to clear this woman, our jewel, our ivory. Eyom Bianca Ono, I so submit. Thank you, sir. Ojuku, well, Ojuku, at, thank, at you. Stage, uh... thank you. Thank you. I don't know whether there's any other thing we can say. Please, off your mic. Uh, 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 distinguished nominee, you can see that uh, your people are suddenly behind you. And uh, they, they can attest to your character, your integrity, and your ability to serve your nation. So uh, let me hear from your maternal home. Distinguished Senator Ositango. Thank you. Mr. President, and my distinguished colleague. Is it Patana? Both. 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 Oh, both Patana and Matana. Okay. Mr. President, the non beautiful nominee standing before us. I said restrict Bianca. yourself. It is in the, to the CV. Forget, Forget this. Mr. President. Forget this it's word beautiful. This is, I said restrict yourself. It's in the CV, sir. Restrict yourself. She didn't put in the CV that she's beautiful. Yeah, it, is that what she put? Where? It's in the CV. Where? The CV says, beautiful Bianca. Yes. It's in the CV. Mr. President. Mr. President, Bianca, Olivia, Odenaka Chuku, Odumegu Ojuku, is my sister from Ngo. You know the local government of Enugu State. Mr. President, a golden fish have no hiding place. And that is why the President of the Fire Republic of Nigeria went and brought this woman who is very passionate about our country, who is very committed to see the growth of this nation, who will give all that is within her reach to make sure that this country gets to a greater height. Mr. President, you see, when Mr. President announced the nominees and put them in ministries where they are going to serve, it makes everything easier for us because she is posted to where she has absolute confidence and competence where she is going to make a huge impact 
to this country. She's a lawyer and also a professional in diplomacy. Uh, the sergeant at arms, give her a seat. Mr. President, who else? Give her a seat. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, we, we don't want any disaster here. No, I, I, I will stand, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. So if you are sure. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Mr. President, who else can serve in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs if not somebody with this qualification? We call her Adeje Jemba. She's from my town, married to Neu, and that's why I also went to Neu to marry my own wife back as a favor. <laughs> We don't need to say more than what my brothers from Anambra State have said, because our screening is to call, confirm the competence of the nominees. And everybody in this Allo chamber agrees that Bianca is competent and agrees that the portfolio assigned to her is where she has already excelled and performed creditably. What we are hoping is that as soon as she takes over her office, changes will come. Positive changes. So, Mr. President, we thank the President once more for giving us opportunity. We had um, a Minister of Foreign Affairs from my town before, in the name of Dubem Onya. She is going to be the second Minister of Foreign Affairs from our community. And uh, we always know how to perform. Mr. President, we just wish her the best. Remember, she is supposed to be a member of this Senate. If not that, she ran for Senate before. If not for the way it went, she's supposed to be sitting here in this hallowed chamber screening other nominees. It means that she has a qualification and competence. She understands what we do here. So as a colleague that I see her as, because she contested, I think it is right in. Having noted her competence and qualifications, we will have to tell her, with your kind permission, Mr. President, that Bianca should actually bow and go and do her work. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, the... uh, everything will not, uh, will not be complete if I do not hear from the only Afghan senator in this chamber. <laughs> because I know she's the mother of Afghan, uh, uh, distinguished uh, Senator Abarebe. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting as chair. My name is Enyinaya Baribe. I represent Abia South, and my party is the All Progressive Ground Alliance, of which she is uh, our own mother. So I will make two points, Mr. President. Two very key points that we probably are not noticing in the euphoria of everything that is happening today. First, while I adopt all the sentiments that have been um, said earlier by the Anambra senators and the one from Enugu State, I will say that one, maybe because of her, Mr. President, by bringing an APGA person to be a minister, has already started with what we call a unity government and uh, looking for national integration. We can only ask that Mr. President goes much further, much, much further. But we commend him for this. Second, another commendation we will make for the President, which most people have also forgotten. We have on the floor of this Senate always sought that a President sending nominees to the floor must attach it with the portfolios. Today, we are seeing that the president has started by letting us know in the portfolios of those that will 
go to the different areas. And that is commendable. And so I think that this, having been started, should be sustained by all presidents that will come and the president in his further changes, because I know that there are going to be more changes to ensure Yes, what I mean is that maybe more Abga people should come to help this government. I thank you, Mr. President. I commend uh, Mrs. Bianca Ujuku, and I urge my colleagues, seeing these two elements that have accompanied all the nominations that have come today, that we allow Bianca to bow and go. I so submit. Well, distinguished colleagues, uh, I know that Senator Abaribe is worried about what happens to Abka after this. So, and uh, I saw him moving from seat to seat, asking people why. <laughs> so, I decided that he should say something. But I want to thank you for commending President Paula Ahmed Tunibu, uh, GCFR, for uh, going across party lines to seek for the best of the best to save our country. And most especially, making the job of screening and confirmation easy, and even easier by attaching portfolios to the would-be ministers, unprecedented. Now you can ask questions directly, relating directly to the portfolio of the minister. And like you said, no other president has ever done it. And no other person would have done it except President Bola Machinibu, having been a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His wife has been a senator, and he has known the yearnings of the Senate. So we commend him seriously for attaching portfolios to these nominees. And, uh, and, uh, and we pray that future presidents will follow suit so it will be easy for the Senate to do its work. Uh, my, my dear sister, the I haven't heard any negative uh, comment from the floor, but I'd like to ask you a question. You've had an experience as an ambassador. Very recently, I sent a delegation to Chad, and they came back and said that the, the Nigerian embassy in Chad, the building is in very deplorable condition. And I was in Ghana last, uh, uh, this week, or last week, or this week, and the same complaint. They have a, a land that they would like to rebuild their embassy uh, structure on. And many other places, Kenya, everywhere, people are complaining that uh, the structures out, uh, hosting the embassies are in terrible conditions. If you are confirmed by the Senate to go into that ministry, will you focus on trying to rehabilitate, to give Nigeria a better image in terms of the structures of the various embassies worldwide? After that, you can take a bow. Thank you very much, Senate President. In this respect, distinguished senators, I would like to say that my past records speak for me. As ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, I spent an entire year in one hotel room because when I got to Spain, the mission building was in such an appalling condition. Together with very dedicated officers, we conducted the massive renovation works, not just on the mission building itself, giving Nigeria an edifice truly deserving of a nation of its standing. 
The Nigerian Embassy in Madrid that you see today is a product of my tenure in that country. And what was particularly sad about the previous state of the building was that it was very, very close to the Estadio Benabel, which is the home of Real Madrid Football Club. So it was such an eyesore that people who were going to, to the stadium for the various matches would pass the embassy building in its decadent state. But today, the Nigerian embassy in Spain is a magnificent building. Not only that, the residence of the ambassador was also given a facelift and other buildings belonging to our country within that kingdom. It is true that in most missions, because of the poor funding, uh, most ambassadors are constrained when it comes to carrying out uh, uh, refurbishment and renovation works. And uh, this is um, quite unfortunate because a lot of the embassies uh, are actually going through this situation. And I Missions abroad actually reflect the true magnitude of Nigeria's standing in the Committee of Nations. It is very, very important because this is what will give our nation the much needed respect to carry out diplomatic functions uh, in a building that does not truly uh, uh, reflect um, the true standing of any country is very, very limiting. And this has, to a large extent, diminished our standing um, around the world. And I think that this is something that um, the government um, under this president, in view of the four tenets of uh, the foreign policy thrust, which is uh, uh, democ uh, democracy, development, diaspora, and of course, looking at the fact that most of the people who have to come abroad, especially many of you from these hallowed chambers, who have to come for exchanges, uh, study tours, etc., will be hosted in those uh, 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 buildings. It is imperative that when you are on those exchanges and you have to meet uh, your compatriots, and you also have to meet your colleagues in the host countries, that these meetings are done in respectable um, surroundings. Thank you, sir. Is it the view of the Senate that this nominee be allowed to take a bow and leave? Those in support say aye. aye. Those against say there. The eyes are. Thank you. You may now take a bow. That's uh, Bianca Ojinaka Odumegu Ujuku, one of the ministerial nominees, the first female to be admitted into the chamber out of the three that are slated for screening today inside the Senate. She is the daughter of the former governor of Anambra State, Christian C. Ono. She studied law at the University of Nigeria in Suka and later married the late Udumegu Ujuku. She was a former ambassador 
to Nigeria in Spain and a multiple international pageant title holder. She's been asked to take a bow and go. And so, in a moment now, the next ministerial nominee on Georgia paper, Yusuf Abdullah Atta, will be admitted into chamber for the confirmation hearing. Bianca is the minister designate, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs.